Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karwa and in this video, I am going to talk about how you can prepare using free YouTube videos for a competitive exam as difficult as net. So if you are somebody who thinks that nobody can clear a UGC net exam through YouTube videos and self-study, then believe me, this video is for you. With the advent of COVID-19 pandemic and lockdown, we know that a lot of coaching institutes, offline ones, have shut down. Bookstores have shut down. Now people have drastically moved to YouTube for help, especially kids and adults like us who are preparing for UGC net exam. So all these people have shifted to YouTube for guidance for study material. And here comes the most important question that can a student prepare for UGC net exam using free YouTube videos? And if yes, then what should be the strategy? What should be the things that should be taken care of? In this video, I'm going to first clear the myth that it is absolutely possible to clear a competitive exam through YouTube and not just clear exam. I'm telling you that you can actually get a JRF if your approach is right. So we all know that a lot of benefits are there for studying online. You get access to free material. You also uh, save a lot of time and energy in traveling to institutes and studying from. You actually save time in gossip, mind you, because when we go to a coaching institute, it's not just the one hour class that we attend. There is also a 50 minute gossip session that we attend. So we save those 50 minutes on a day to day basis. But then there are a few drawbacks or challenges, I would say, which can be overcome with the right strategy. So this video is all about overcoming those challenges. We are going to talk about four major drawbacks of studying from YouTube and how you can easily overcome it. The first challenge that a lot of students face in this process is finding out which YouTube channel to refer. YouTube has lined up so many great channels in front of you for any topic, be it any subject, any topic you want to study. There are numerous teachers and some great channels out there on YouTube. Now, how to find out which one is the best? Tell me, guys, is there any definition of a best teacher? No, a teacher is best for you if his teaching methodology is what you understand. So there's no best or worst teachers. No, there are just different methodologies that different teachers use. I have a particular way of teaching. If you go to my YouTube videos and you watch a couple of them, you will find out that I have a very system driven method of teaching, a step by step procedure of teaching. There are teachers who might tell you in a flow. They might not structure their thoughts, but then uh, Am I bad or are they good or am I good and are they bad? No, there's nothing like that. It's an absolutely false statement. The only thing you have to find out is that which teacher is teaching by the methodology that you understand. So for this, there's a very simple trick. What you need to do, you have to uh, select a topic of your choice from your uh, subject and then watch a couple of videos of different teachers teaching that topic and see which one you understand the best, which one is interactive and which one you are able to absorb easily. Whichever is that channel, that is the channel for you. So make a list of the channels that you are going to go to for any topic. Don't get lost in the pool of content. Nowadays, I'm learning cooking by watching a couple of YouTube videos and for any YouTube uh, recipe that I search, for example, paneer tikka or maybe garlic bread, I will find out millions of channels and millions of dishes presented by them of that particular uh, category. For example, if I want to make paneer tikka and I just search paneer tikka on YouTube, there will be hundreds of videos on paneer tikka. And if I end up watching all of them, I would never be able to make a paneer tikka. So what I have to do, I have to refer to only one or two channels and then based on their recipe, I have to try it. 
right so what i've done i have watched a couple of videos of different youtubers who are into the field of cooking and then i find out that these are two three youtubers whose recipes i am able to make effectively and also who kind of give me a lot of background of the recipe so that i'm able to understand why this particular ingredient is added or not so there are uh, these videos of kunal kapoor chef ranveer brar and cooking shooking is another channel these are the three channels that i refer i don't watch videos of any other channel why because if i start watching videos of all these channels who are into the field of cooking i will never be able to try these recipes out because all my time would be involved in just watching these videos when i am going to experiment with the recipe right the same thing you have to do you have to stick to a few youtubers and only watch their video there's a very simple strategy that i tell all my students one topic one subject one book one teacher multiple revisions this is the key to success not just youtube channels you can refer to there are a lot of free resources free websites uh, i have already made a video for ugc net english aspirants uh, about free websites they can refer to and uh, they can get a lot of guidance from these website if they don't want to invest money in any coaching class the link of that video is linked up there it's also in the description and you can go and check out that video if you want to explore certain other avenues apart from youtube the next challenge that you might find when you start studying on your own from these free resources is that which topics to study now for this you might be wondering that okay i can just refer to the ugc net syllabus but let me tell you guys that won't work because the syllabus only gives you the major headings it doesn't give you the sub topics that you should be studying right for example english literature syllabus is really vast but what they have given to us is these are these 10 uh, units that's it nothing more so what you have to instead do is to make your own syllabus by looking at the past year papers and by also looking at other important topics that you should not skip for this exam and you have to first prepare a topic list on your own and then for each topic you have to refer to a youtube video understand it and then finally you have to uh, you know move to the next topic that has to be the only way If you start watching videos randomly without making a list of topics I'm telling you you will get confused your mind will be messed up because there is so much content available on YouTube and when you watch one video hundreds of new videos are shown in the recommendation you end up watching them and it's a endless loop so all this half hazardly managed content has to be first put down in a systematic structure that is what we've done on our website we have given you a free list of all the topics that you have to study for ugc net paper 2 english literature it is absolutely free of cost you can go to the website get the list and then start preparing on your own the only challenge you might face here is that there is so much to study and understand that it is a very very time taking process that is the reason why people enroll in a coaching class because there they get all the material in one place they just have to listen to the lecture understand it make notes and you know if you want to mug it up then you have to mug it that's it right but if you study on your own then a lot of time is invested in understanding material from different sources you have to actually gather data understand it all of that um you know involves a lot of complexities so if you are somebody who is ready to take it as a challenge then why not because when i was preparing for ugc net that is what i did i studied from different sources different topics and then i put them together and studied it and that is actually what made me a person who could teach all those topics in so much depth because i was uh, gathering data from different sources i was studying things in depth i was studying it from an angle that i might have to teach this topic to someone so i had to have a complete grasp over this topic but then if you are in a coaching institute they'll serve you everything on the platter in that case it becomes a lot more easier to absorb the information quickly and move to the second topic but then the choice is on you if you are ready to do that hard work to get a list of topics 
to you know gather data for each topic from different youtube video the next challenge is that a lot of people say that they don't feel motivated enough when they are studying on their own if they've enrolled in a coaching class their money has been invested so they feel motivated to study but if they're studying on their own they might study for one day and then not study for five days so for this i have a very simple trick what you have to do is every day make a to-do list of the tasks that you have to complete. But the problem is that the first task that we take is so big, so huge that we don't feel like starting it, right? So what you can do is the first task of the day that you have to do has to be very simple. For example, today you have to complete one topic. This is your uh, to-do list for the day. So what you do, you break this topic into two parts. The first chunk or the first task of the day would be to just read one paragraph of that topic from a book or to watch five minutes of a video from YouTube on that particular topic. Only that much. Why? Because when you do the first task, which is very quick and you would feel motivated to complete it because you'll be like, okay, five minutes, hi to lagega. let's do it. So when you complete that first task, you have this sense of accomplishment. You have this rewarding feeling inside you. And this sense of accomplishment will motivate you to complete the entire chapter. The problem is that we take first task so big that we don't feel like starting it. So the first task has to be the simplest and the most entertaining task of the day. Only then you will feel motivated enough to complete the entire to-do list. Last but not the least, we have the most important challenge, which is distractions. YouTube is full of distractions. You watch one video and it is going to give you so many other videos in recommendation of your favorite TV show. And when you start studying, after 30 minutes, you might not even know that you've started watching your favorite TV show. So the only thing that can help you to stay away from distraction is a focus timer. So I use this app called Focus Timer. What this app does is that you can set a time limit into this app. For that many minutes, you have to study with concentration. And once that timer buzzes, then you give yourself a rest period of say 10 minutes or 15 minutes when you are free to watch whatever you want to do, whatever you want. So you tell yourself to focus for a time and then you tell yourself to get distracted for as many uh, minutes as you want right this will help you to ensure that when you are studying you are actually making sure that you are doing quality studies and not just quantity studies right so use this technique of focus timer available on so many apps you can even use your timer the inbuilt timer of your mobile phone also for this so you just have to put a time limit and for that much minutes you have to study and then you give yourself a good span of time to enjoy because you will only feel motivated to study if your brain can foresee that after 30 minutes i am getting 10 minutes of free time and that would be a guilt free free time because you have already accomplished something and as a reward you are giving yourself that free time right so use this technique and i'm pretty sure that distraction level would come really down so with that note, I would like to take your leave. I hope this video was fruitful for you. If you have any other questions which you want me to address in the upcoming videos, feel free to put that in the comment section below. With that note, I am taking your leave. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time I meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.